In today's video, we're gonna take a look at how you can take multiple data sets, whether those are data sets that live in Excel or even live outside of Excel in a text file, a CSV file, and, and database such as an access database, wherever that data resides. We're then going to turn those multiple data sets into a single pivot table. So let's jump into the example file that I'm gonna provide a link to download in the description below. Jump in there, download it, get it open, and we're gonna take a look at how to accomplish this task. Now, open in front of you, I've got the example file. I've got this workbook called Multiple Lists Pivot Table 01. Again, you can download it in link below. And inside of here, I got four worksheets. Now, each of the worksheets, they just represent a different region, a different country. But the data is essentially the same. Column headings are all the same, order ID, customer ID, employee ID, and so on. It's just the records that are in there that represent a specific country's orders. Now, the question that I get asked all of the time inside my Excel courses is I've, I've got multiple data sets, perhaps multiple people working on different regions or different departments or whatever it is, and I need to take them all, put them into one master list and create the pivot table based off of that. Now, a few years ago, I created a video that demonstrated this technique, but it utilized the old pivot table interface. It was actually the 2003 and earlier interface of pivot tables. Well, since then, Microsoft has come out with another tool called Power Query. Now, if you're up to date inside of Excel, this is built into your Excel interface. You'll find it on the data tab. It's part of the import feature. If you're on an older version, if you're on 2010 or 2013, you, know, you may have to download and install Power Query into your copy of Excel. So just a quick heads up there. Now, regardless, open in front of you, I've got the Brazil, Canada, Germany, USA records. I'm gonna take these and I'm going to bring them into the Power Query editor. So I'm gonna start out with the Brazil tab. I'll go ahead and click on there. I'm gonna go up to my data tab, get data, and I'm gonna go down to from other sources. Now, one of the options in there is from table range. And that's what I'm gonna utilize here. My data lives inside of this active Excel workbook and it is formatted as a table. If I go ahead and give that a click, this is gonna take just a moment, but it'll launch the Power Query Editor, and I can see that I've got the Brazil data open inside of Power Query. Now, that's just one table. That's the Brazil records. That's great, that's what I want, but I need to grab the other three data sets as well, and then I'm going to take all three of them into Power Query, or all four of them into Power Query, and I'm gonna append all of the data together into that one master list. So once I've got the first data set inside the Power Query tab, or Power Query interface, I'll go to Home, Close and Load, I'm gonna click on the lower half, and I'm gonna use this Close and Load too. This is gonna open up a nice little import interface for me. And for right now, I'm gonna do only create connection. That's all I wanna do. I just wanna make Power Query, that I wanna make it aware that that data exists. Just create a connection to that data. That's it for right now. So I'll hit okay. And I'm now done with Brazil. And I've got this nice little panel that opened up for me called Queries and Connections. And I can see I got the Brazil data and it created a connection to that data. Power Query is now aware of that data. Now, if for some reason your querying connections window did not open, it's gone, I can go up to the data tab and inside the query and connections, there is a button for queries and connections. I can give that a click and that'll open that up for me. So that was one. I'm gonna repeat this process three more times. So I'm now gonna go down to Canada, same thing, data, get data, other sources, table range, this will open up Power Query. I've got my new data in there. I've now got both Brazil and Canada. Once again, close and load, close and load two, and I'll create a connection only. Whoop, and done. So you can see now I've got the uh, Canadian records in there as well. Two more times. Germany, data. You're gonna be a pro by the time you do all four of these. Get data from other sources, table range, 
There's my power query. Close and load, load two, create connection only. And now I've got three of them in there. One more, USA. Data, get data, other sources. Remember all this? Table range, there's my data. Close and load two, and create connection only. And I've got my four data sets right there. Hovered over it, gave it just a moment, pops up with a nice little preview for me. So now that I've got all four connections in there, Power Query is familiar with all of them. I'm now gonna go back into the Power Query editor and I'm gonna append all of them into a new query, a new data set, all four of them, and then I can create my pivot table based off of that. So I'll right click on Brazil. Really doesn't matter which one, but I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna to go to edit. This will launch the Power Query interface. So now from within here, I'm gonna to go to my home tab. Again, I'm inside of the Power Query editor and over towards the right, I've got a combine operation and there's a few options for me here. I've got merge queries and append queries. So from here, I want to append them. I just wanna take one data set, Brazil, and then add the Canada records and then add the Germany records and so on. Just create this one massive list. So I'll do an append and I'm gonna append queries as new, meaning I'm not gonna edit the Brazil data query, but I'm gonna create a new query that combines all of them. I'll give that a select. All right, two tables or three or more. Well, we've got four tables. So I'm gonna to go to three or more. Already got Brazil added. So I'll just give a double click on the other three. There's Canada, Germany, USA, and I'm good. I'll hit okay. This will create a new query here that is called the append one, just as the default name. But here I can see, if I scroll to the right, there's country, there's Brazil. As I scroll down, there's Canada, Germany, and USA records all within one data set. So now with the pin one selected, first thing I wanna do is rename that. So over on the right, query settings, I'll change the name. I'm just gonna call this all countries. That sounds good. Cool. So I've renamed that query. And now I want to utilize that. I want to bring it back into Excel and I want to create a pivot table based off of all of that data. So I'm going to go up to the close and load and I'm going to use the close and load too, remembering I have the all countries query selected. And this time in my import window, I am going to create, uh, first I'm going to create a table, just a table based off of all that data. And I'll put it into a new worksheet. So I'll hit okay. I've now got a new tab at the bottom, all countries. And I can drag that over to the right if I'd like to, just to put it away from the rest of the countries. So now I've got the table with all the data in there. I'm gonna go up to insert pivot table from table range. All right, it's the all countries table. I'll put it in a new worksheet. And I now can create that pivot table based off of all of the country's data. So let's say I wanna be able to get a, let's do it by country. Let's drop country, ship country into the rows. There's my four countries, cool. Let's say I wanna get a total freight for each of the countries. So I'll grab freight, drop that into the value section. And now I've got the total freight for each of those countries. Let's break it down a little bit more. Maybe I wanna see how each freight company how much we spent with each of them within each of those countries. So I'll grab the ship via, drop that into the column section. So now for the country, or excuse me, company number one for freight, we spent this much. For company number two, we spent this much. Company number three, we spent this much for a grand total of for each of the countries. So this is all four of those data sets, all combined, all appended together into one data set through Power Query. And we're now able to create that pivot table. Cool. Power Query's got so many slick tools in there. There's so much more you can do. For example, we've got the numbers there that represent each of the freight companies. Numbers are great. That's just kind of an ID for the companies, but I want to see their names. Well, we could create a calculation that then shows the names rather than each of the numbers uh, and many other things in there. You can do all sorts of transforming and finessing of your data inside of Power Query before it hits the pivot table. So make sure you try this out.
Download the example file, link in the description, get it, open it up, and try utilizing Power Query to append all of those data sets together and create one master list, one master query, and create your pivot table based off of multiple sources. So thanks a lot for watching this video. If you learned something new, uh, please subscribe to this channel, give it a like, give it a thumbs up, and let me know what you've learned here during this session inside the comments down below. I'll see you in the next video.